Hello ladies and gentlemen of the YouTubes Today I have another different kind of video for you today And some GTA gameplay in the background showing you how I really drive As that is actually related to the subject I'm going to discuss today As I'm recording this, it is the 22nd of July 2018 Which is the day before my first test for my P-plate license So yeah, I'm gonna try to test to get my P-plates so before I go into it any further, I'm going to discuss how you actually get your full license. What are the steps? So here, here's how it goes. Step number one, B16. You have to be at least 16 to do the, like the, because there's like a few tests. Like you have to do the beginner test. So that's step number two. So you do this computer test showing you, showing that you know the road rules and please do not fail twice like I did. I did that test three times I failed twice it was on computer and I am very ashamed I failed twice but hey I passed on the third time so you know that's good step number three get at least 120 hours of driving now this is for Australia and in the state of Victoria so it might be different for different states in Australia and definitely different in other countries in the world but where I live you know at least 120 hours driving and I think like 10 or 30 or 20 of those hours need to be in the dark so yeah, you then need to be at least 18. And when I say at least, I mean, it's not like you have to be 20 to do it. I mean like, you can do it when you're 18. That's when most people do it, but you need to be 18 at least. And then you do this thing called the hazard perception test, which is another computer test to just make sure you can drive without majorly fucking up and killing like 50 people. It's kind of like a driving simulator. They play adult porno I mean, they play car video scenarios, and you click when you do a certain thing, like merge into the traffic, indicate, rank, overtake, etc. This I luckily passed the first one, so be proud of me, please. Now, step number five, which is where I'm at now, you need to do a, a physical drive test. Like you actually need to go over with the instructor and drive and he's going to be like oh you got this way you got that way do this parking and then now do a backflip all that and if you do well you pass and get your p-plate license and if you do a manual you get manual license which pretty much means you are legally legally allowed to drive you know manual automatic you know you can drive any transmission but if you do automatic you can only drive automatics till you get your full license which for both transmissions for manual and automatic takes four years unless you like fuck up and like go on 200 on a 50 zone and you know then you lose a demerit points and then you know it might take longer but if you are a good citizen like me that totally never speeds never had a very close collisions you'll be fine it does take four years to get full license which kind of sucks anyway so seems kind of simple maybe but look when it comes to driving especially when it comes to the test it's not just about not getting into a car crash, getting somewhere in time, not scraping other cars while parking. There's a much more bullshit added to it, my dudes. Like, legit, you have to always, yes, always, and by always, I don't mean like every five seconds, I mean fucking always look in the rearview mirror. And like, I'll do like 50 fucking head checks when starting the car and entering the road. There are like so many fucking regulations, my dude. They're like, fucking. There's like for crossings, there's like a line before it, and it's like if you touch that line, you're fucking dead, can't. Like, there's so many regulations and shit. Like, there's stuff that wouldn't be deadly, but if you do it, you're fucking dead. Like, you fucking lose, I mean. But like, if you walk like me, then then you'll be dead. And if you walk, you understand how. Anyway, so what is this video about? Hopefully this is going to prepare those of you who are like me now who do drive tests in the future whether it be in 50 years or the next day or next week or whenever or hopefully this will entertain those who already done it and do burnouts daily and it is going to also let me see what I was like when I'm 69 years old and yeah so this is my advice for what you should do to make sure you drive well and do well this is what I noticed that helped me. When I keep these in mind, they helped me. And anyway, keep in mind that these are for the state of Victoria in the country, Australia. So if you're like fucking in Nepal or some shit, this probably does not apply to you. But anyway, this is what I 
need this one I try to remember so that I don't fuck up on the test. First of first one. Indicate fucking ten years before turning. Like legit. This is one this one like boggles my fucking mind. You know like when you indicate like you turn left or right, fucking I indicate usually like maybe five seconds, maybe three seconds before I do the turn. And like fuck nah, that's too fucking late. Fucking there goes your points cunt. You have to do it like fucking ages before. Like fucking hell. So make sure you know when to indicate. It's good for everything to actually practice with an instructor that does the actual tests. Like make sure you do that shit with them because you know if you don't do anything to instructor, you know like I did most of my driving with my dad and I did like I drive well, I drive safe, I don't have any car accidents, you know, I, I had very close shaves, but I had, that, that, that's a different topic for a different day, okay? Anyway, so, it's not, the, so you need to be able to drive an instructor, so you know how to drive well for the test, so you can drive according to regulation, so that even though you can drive well, even though you can go from point A to B, you know, not get any fines, not get pulled over by coppers or anything, you know, you still have to do this regulation, so just the way it is. It's bullshit, but that's just the way it is. It's, you, you can't get f go around this bullshit. Like, you have to, like, dive into it and fucking crawl out of it somehow. It's going to absorb you and it's going to turn you into bullshit. Anyway, so make sure you indicate when you should and ask of your instructor. Ask all the questions you need. Just please make sure you do. Another important thing is fucking mirrors and motherfucking head checks. Always, you need to look in the mirror before and after you indicate, break, shit, turn, pretty much do anything. Fucking, you need to always look in your fucking rearview mirror. And when you're changing lane, head check. Fucking do those head checks. Remember your head checks and always ask questions. I can't stress it enough. Fucking ask all your questions. And also, the cool tip to make sure you always look in the mirror. Make sure, you know, whenever you breathe, like now you're inhaling oxygen, exhaling carbon dioxide. Yeah, that's when you look in the mirror, aka 24-7. Like you need to rip that mirror out of your car and carry it with you, like glue it to your head or something. So you make sure you always look at it. Anything. Now the very important thing, especially where I live, avoid the fucking curb like the plague. And for, go for those who don't know what the curb is, you know, like when you're driving, like next to what does like the black part, and then like near where you people park on the side of the road, there's like this flat part like next to the road that's grey and this part that goes up and it's also grey, you know you are, the flat part is called the gutter and the part that goes up is called the curb and look, if you touch the curb doesn't matter if you're doing so, it doesn't matter if you got the biggest penis ever and you're bribing the instructor you fail, you touch the curb, you fucking fail man I have a friend who failed four times because he touched touched the curb, not rammed into the curb at 200 kilometers an hour, he touched the curb, touched, touched, so better be a bit far than fail because look, if you touch it and you fail, you're, you are risking, look, if you try to park closer, you want to show off, you're risking your soul to be taken by Satan, my dude, so please, don't be too close to the curb, don't touch the curb. Last bit of advice from me is that, you know pedestrians, you know the annoying fucks to run in the middle of the road because the crossing that's three meters away from them is too fucking far? Yeah, you know those pricks. You need to worship them as if they have your balls in one hand and an apple peel in the other. Watch out for pets, not to be confused with pedophiles. If you do anything, anything that puts them in a bit of danger, like stopping a bit on the crossing, like fucking a bit, or fucking do anything like if you go past the road when they're about to cross you are fucking gone man you're fucking gone like these pedestrians i swear to god they're gonna make your life hell there are of course many and more things you need to worry about but these are the main things i try to remember as most other stuff i do well reasonably anyway so to conclude it may not sound like it, but I never ever in my life been more scared or nervous than I, than I am now. You see, I live in a wog family. So, for those who don't know, pretty much, which me it means that if I fail, I don't have a home to come back to. 
<laughs> so yeah, I better pass, but honestly, I really don't think I will. This is like the first time I did this speed test. I had a driving lesson today. I had one a couple, like four days ago. I'm like, what day is it today? Sunday. So I had one on Thursday. So that's about three days ago, yeah. I'm gonna have one tomorrow, literally right before my um, test to make sure I'm fucking lock and loaded. But anyway, I hope I will do well. Hopefully I'll pass. I think the chance of me passing is like 30%, maybe less. 30% are the best. Like the best, probably is about 10. But you know, I might be lucky, might be able to bribe the instructor, who knows. Um, you know, maybe my prayers will be answered, but my skills are pretty fucking crap. I do forget, you know, I forget the little things like head checks, but, you know, if I fail, I fail. is isn't the end of the world, it's just the end of my life, so, you know, everything's gonna be all good, and yeah. So that's how I feel right now about this test I'm gonna do tomorrow for driving. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, maybe even funny, even though I have no idea how it's funny, it's fucking scary as shit. You know, I hope it benefited you in some way if you like the video please hit the like button if you didn't like the video please smash the like button for all your hatred also subscribe so you don't miss any more videos and also my reaction to whatever happens if i pass or not pass you know if i pass then you see me go be fucking happy if you see me fail you're gonna see me well getting what i expected but yeah hopefully i'll pass tomorrow wish me luck and i'll see you guys on the next video